Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Life and Drawing Podcast. This is episode number 38. And uh, yeah man, how has it been? I'm hating this chair. I bought this chair. It's supposed to be a reclinable thing. Uh, It's not good. I have my floor... uh, wind blower on to create a little bit of noise ambience because my two boys are awake and so if you hear like clatter that's why so i was thinking about staying up and i did for a little bit uh last night and and yeah i had some energy but i just I don't know, just, I mean, I was working on another piece. I was actually working on, hey, just this sneak peek. I was working on this. Boom, boom, boom. That's all you get. <laughs> you could always pause it. Um, and so, uh, so yeah, so I was, I was working on that. And, and I don't know, I just got caught up just watching other videos and um i yeah because i had my notes and everything ready to go because i actually wanted to record two shows but anyway that's neither here or there so i'm doing it now and it's not super quiet and i don't care (laughs) i mean no no, i don't i just i just need to get i need to get the videos made i need to get them done so some of them will be quiet, and then others, just not so much. So, how are you guys? Is um, Christmas and New Year's? Hope you had a good time. Um, I know sometimes it can be stressful, uh, particularly if you're traveling, um, or if you know, uh, you know, just family matters. <laughs> you know, things pop up. Um, themes pop off and so you know it can get it can get crazy uh but hope you had a good time uh hope there wasn't any drama um and particularly like issue on i-95 um here in virginia where folks were stuck man that would be crazy i mean scary um You know, being stuck and uh, not not knowing if you're gonna have enough gas, and it's cold, so you know you you need to keep yourself warm. Um, I mean that that would be terrifying, especially if you have kids too. You know, Um, yeah, because then you have to think about them and and their tolerance levels and stuff like that um so it <clears throat> it wasn't a good experience <clears throat> for those folks who were excuse me who were stuck and so uh but anyway this episode this episode uh episode 38 um new year new me Woo! you know and it's not a resolution episode um and i'm not one of those folks who are you know in the camp or out the camp of uh you know making resolutions and stuff like that so i mean if you make them good if it helps then you know i'm like well just keep making them (laughs) you know what i mean and so um and if they're not um working uh, by that I mean, if the resolutions you're not seeing change, then you gotta change something else. So, and it's hard, man. I keep thinking, oh, if I were single, maybe you know. But then I don't know. I think so, um, and that's what that's what makes it, and that's why purposing to be disciplined is helpful, because you can carry that discipline throughout. You can carry it being single, you can carry it being married, you can carry it having kids. 
once you maintain it, you know. And so I slacked off on my discipline of working out. And yes, there were, it feels like every time I try to get back into a regular um, regimented routine, something happens like injury um, or. Uh, and, and, and I'm going light too because I've learned my lesson. I've learned my lesson because um, whenever you, you know, you're trying to get back into working out or, you, um, or you're starting to work out uh, for the first time, um, you, you, you just you want to take it easy because when you don't take it easy, then that's when you definitely run into uh, issues of injury and stuff like that. And so I've, I've been there, done that. Now it's always light. And when I'm coming back in, I'm lifting very light. I'm not lifting for mass. Um, uh, if it's high intensity stuff, I, I'm doing very moderate level uh, uh, routines. And so that way there's no heavy pounding. There's no excessive uh, lateral movement type things to you know pull on joints and stuff like that um, so I've learned so he so even doing that sometimes there's some type of weird um, injury where it's not even like oh something with my arms like the time I hit my hand so I couldn't even curl I, I mean talk about not being able to, to draw for an extended period of times I couldn't lift anything, you know, um, and and even if I could hold it, I couldn't cur I couldn't curl um, weights. I couldn't do push-ups because I couldn't put a whole lot of weight on my palm, like my right hand. So there's always just something, you know. Granted, it could still work, you know. I have treadmill on a bike, um, so that's why I'm saying there's no excuses, um, even when certain things happen, because uh, if you have the discipline then that will override circumstances. Now, of course, if there's a circumstance where, hey, you're fully immobile or you just can't do anything, then you can't. Um, but in those moments, the discipline is going to be there to prime your mind that, okay, once we get better, we're getting our ass back in shape. <laughs> so, <clears throat> um, so that's why I think it's overall it's just key to, uh, be disciplined, keep disciplined, um, uh, you know, just keep ready, you know, uh, it's like in the Bible, you know, always be ready to give an account, uh, uh, for your faith and your belief, um, you know, uh, I mean, that's a different level, you just want to be ready, so, uh, so yeah, so in this short little video, uh, and this 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 video will be shorter, because uh, I, I want to crank O2, and I, anyway, uh, we're hopefully going to be moving, and and that's going to help a lot, particularly moving to some place with high speed internet, and and me not having to, uh, because what I have to do is make the videos. Then put them on a file and then go somewhere where there's high speed internet to upload them. So to YouTube. Um, so that's so that's the that's the journey. <laughs> uh, so anyway, so so going back, New Year, New Me. Three things to try in the new year, twenty twenty two. Um one is just exercising more and just you know physical trying to f trying to get physical transformation now a lot of times when you hear about physical transformation you typically will contribute not contribute you will uh relate that to just someone changing their physical appearance it's physical transformation so from being 300 pounds to 180, and there will be very evident um, physical change um, um, in an individual that had that amount of weight. Um, 
But there is other transformations that may be very subtle, but you will experience, like your waistline. You know, you start eating less or eating less of certain foods. Um, you're going to see, hey, man, my pants fit more comfortably. You know, they're not like super tight to buckle. Um, and, you know, man, I, you know, and, and, that's, and that's a great feeling, you know. Um, just getting that feeling um, alone will give you even more motivation to, uh, to, to, to work out, um, even more or to cut out, uh, just certain, certain foods that you were eating before, you know, and you're like, man, you know what, man, this is working. And, and so, uh, so yeah, so that's, you know, that's why it's important just to, just to start. You know, you don't try to plug in an hour. And I think I've talked about this similarly in another episode. Um, but, yeah, you know, don't, don't try to get all crazy and gung-ho and got to put an hour in or two hours in and got to go to the gym three times a day. You know what I mean? You, you're you're going to burn yourself out. Plus, if you have other responsibilities, that's just not a reality. So, you know, don't kid yourself. Um and don't punk yourself either, you know, like give, give yourself a real um, obtainable objective and set yourself up to succeed. OK, so, yeah, just exercise a little bit more or just start exercising. And that could just be simply just going for a walk, like a purposeful walk. Um, but food is a huge thing and I struggle with it. Trust me, man. You look at me. I'm overweight. I, I think I'm like 280. Um, and I'm overweight. That's not a in shape 280. Wanted to get to 250 last year, and uh, that did not happen. <laughs> and so, so I'm there with you guys. You know what I mean? So I'm not being the, hey, do this and don't worry how I look. You know, we're we're in this together. So this is what we have to do. So, um, so we have to exercise more. Um, uh, and and as I was saying about um exercising you know eating and so we have to eat better as well um and that's that's a huge part man uh i i almost want to say that's like 60 40 and um i mean i i i don't know i guess in some instances it could be 70 30 where it's like man you 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 really cut out um I remember losing just 12 pounds um, in a week, or it was it two weeks, just by, and at that point I think I was, uh, uh, probably 28, maybe 30, I'm not sure, but, um, um, and again, and I'm a guy, and I know metabolism works differently. But I was still able to, you know, lose ten plus pounds just by just changing what I ate um, and how much food I I did eat. And so, um, so it's definitely uh, very doable. And you know, we just have the purpose to to want to do it and and to do it. And so. Um, so that's key. So, so we have to exercise a little bit more or start to exercise and with that eat better. And by that, I mean, Hey, if you're buying, um, say over five days in a week, you're, you're buying like three fast food meals. So now try to cut that down to two fast food meals, you know, just try to eliminate one fast food meal. You know, that's what I'm saying, just giving, like, realistic projections. You know, like, ah, you know what, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I usually get something. I won't get anything on Friday. So now it's just Monday and Wednesday. And then once you get to that point where you're like, ah, you know what, I'm not getting anything on Friday. Uh, I'm going to push it to Wednesday, too. So now you're down to just one fast food meal a week. And you may be like, you know what, I need that for now, and I'll keep it. That way, I'm not going to Junes for it and then have like a, a, a crazy sort of 
um, um, binging, craving moment. Um, and so, so yeah, so whatever you have to do to ensure, you know, you just don't set yourself up to fail and go into like critical <laughs> craving, <laughs> you know, um, however, so, but yeah, so it's, like I said, just incremental steps, man. Same thing with the exercise incrementally, same thing with the food, um, uh, uh, you know, just cut certain things out. And, um, and, 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 you'll see, and like I said, sometimes you may not see it where you have a really flat stomach, but you may start to feel like more energized. You'll see that, oh man, my shirts are fitting better. You know, they're not tightened and comfortable. Um, you know, man, yeah, my, my thighs, you know, my pants are fitting over my thighs just right. Um, and, and then you're just going to feel better. You know, it's, it's a real thing. And, and so just, you know, seize those, those, those small, those small, uh, victories. Um, cause they, you know, they're the things that keep you motivated. Uh, was, for me, it's just like when, like playing golf, um, I truly do uh, love the game of golf, and but I I would be blowing a lot of hot smoke up your um, your butt if I was like, man, every single time I play, it's the best thing ever. Because there are many times I play and I'm like, why the hell am I playing this game? <laughs> you know, and 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 I it's weird because I, I am a competitor. But I'm such a realist where I'm like, yeah, okay, it's a game, you know. But I, but my comp once my competitive juices get flowing, because I want to do everything well, you know. Whatever it is, I want to be able to do it well and know that I can do it well. And if I can't, and uh, then I'm just, um, I'm just super pissed with myself, and I don't like it. <laughs> you know, I want to, whatever it is, I want to be able to do it well. Um, so. Uh, so that being said, there are times when, um, I'll just have like a little moment where, man, I hit an incredible shot and it's that one shot out of, I don't know, you think about it, um, uh, uh, you know, 80 strokes, 80 shots and, and I'm like, okay, yeah, this is why I do it. <laughs> this is why I, I endure the the pain of missing a shot that I think I should have made and looking like an idiot <laughs> um, and so and it keeps me coming back so so just you know those those moments of like oh man you know this size 38 man I couldn't even get this to buckle now it is buckling you know and uh, and for the ladies, oh, I'm getting into this size 8 or size 10. Uh, this isn't crazy. Oh, my sports bra. Oh, wow. This is, I don't feel like I'm, I can breathe. Um, you know. So, yeah, just seize those little moments. And, uh, man, you, you, you'll see the huge difference. And then, uh, in my opinion, most important thing, new year, new you, feed your soul. You know, now this is spiritual transformation. Um, and as a religious man, a, uh, a believing man in, in, in Christ the Messiah, uh, you got to feed your soul. Um, I mean, if you are already a believer, okay, my boys are getting more and more ruckus. Um, yeah, you have to. It's, it's gonna, you know, it's key. Um, I mean, it's really the thing that keeps your um, ultimate focus on um, on your goals and on whatever challenges and circumstances uh, you may come up against. Um, you know, um, just having your your spirit, mind right. Um, uh, speaks volumes and and you want to you know make sure that you you have that in the right place and so 
And then that way, you have the trifactor of spirit, mind, body being nurtured uh, uh, into a, a complete person. And so, uh, so yeah, that's, so that's key. That's key, and that's important. And um, you do that by just, just reading, man. Reading, praying, if you're a ready believer. Praying more. Um, setting time aside to pray. Because we can set aside time to do whatever we want to do. Just like now, I'm setting aside this time to do this, despite the, the noise in the background. Um, uh, set aside time for your, your quiet time. Uh, we can do it. If you want to do it, you'll... We'll do it. You know, that's the old saying. You know, we do the things that we want to do. So, um, I don't I don't mind doing, like, landscaping um, pieces, but it just feels so sometimes disjointed. And it could be that I'm just doing a very poor job at it. Um, <laughs> and so, uh, but anyway, for whatever reason, my boys, they, they want to be where I'm at. Um, which I uh, appreciate. Okay, that that just wouldn't work. That's that uh, that wouldn't work. That scale would be a much smaller house. It'd be something like that, off in the distance, you know, something off in the distance. Smoke. Oh, that, was, that was pretty crappy. <laughs> But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. So remember, new you, new year, new you. Exercise more. Let's exercise more. Let's eat better. And most importantly, let's feed our souls. Um, um, let's get a rejuvenation uh, spirit uh, uh, for this new year. And let's set forth to uh, conquer challenges and, uh, and to keep our heads up, keep our, uh, our feet legs moving and uh hope you yeah there we go that's the hope you had a great time uh, coming into the new year and uh wish you all um, uh, the best in god's grace and uh have a good afternoon evening morning or night oh before i close out be sure to like and subscribe <laughs> Um, so it's crazy not doing this for like two weeks. Be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, I need all of the subscribers I can get. Uh, be sure to go to my Instagram page, Instagram at Mr. Lolly. Uh, be sure to go to my uh, Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Mr. Comics. Uh, go to my website, which is michelololly.com, and to support uh, what I do I really appreciate it um, you can go to patreon.com forward slash thank you guys once again grace and peace